Today I will show how to sideload this newly launched IPA signing app, which do not require computer, loaded with features like full customization of apps, dedicated app repository, easy IPA signing, ability to import multiple certificates for IPA signing, with no tracking or analytics. First launch Telegram and refer to this channel, link will be in description. You will find a certificate in zip format. At the time of making this video, the certificate is working fine. Just tap on this zip file and then tap on the share icon. Save the certificate zip file anywhere in your files app. In my case, I have saved it in a separate folder I created and named it certificate. Next, go back and launch the files app and locate that certificate zip file which we saved just now. Now tap on the file to extract it. Once extracted, inside the extracted folder, you will find .mobile provision file and .p12 file respectively. Now, launch Safari browser and type exactly what I am typing, which is Feather, iOS, GitHub. I can leave the link in description. On the search results, tap on this first link, which says, iOS Application Manager. This is the only official source to install Feather app, so do not download from unknown sources. On the GitHub page, tap on the releases hyperlink, as shown. On the next page, make sure to download the Feather IPA file, not the TIPA file. So once the Feather app is downloaded successfully, go back to the Feather home page. Scroll down and tap on this link which says, visit the Feather wiki here. On the next page, under the table of contents, tap on this installation hyperlink under using an Apple developer account. Now, under installation section, tap on this Krava sign link, highlighted in blue. Once you are on this website, follow me carefully. First tap on the field and import the Feather IPA file, which we download earlier. Just tap on the file to import it. Once the IPA is imported successfully. Next, import the .mobile provision file from that extracted certificate zip file. If you are following me, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Once the mobile provision file is also imported. Similarly, import the p12 file. Now enter the password, which is applep12.com. Type exactly the way it's shown on the screen, as it is case sensitive. Once everything is done, just tap on upload and sign button. After you get a pop-up, stating that the file is uploaded, now just tap on sign IPA button, as shown. After the app is signed, just tap on copy URL. The install IPA option is not working somehow. So copy the URL and open a new browser tab and paste the URL there. The moment you paste the URL and search it, you will get this pop-up, just tap on the open option. And next you will get another pop-up like this. And lastly, tap on the install button as shown on the video. Let's go back, and as you can see, the Feather app is getting sideloaded successfully. And we have successfully installed Feather app. It is not done yet, as we need to trust this certificate. Now go to settings and navigate to general option and then to VPN and device management. Locate the name of the certificate and just trust the developer certificate. Let's launch the app and you are greeted with this amazing interface. The sources section of the app allows you to add unlimited app repositories including alt store repositories. But for anything, let's import the certificate. To do that, tap on settings and scroll down. Tap on Add Certificate option. Feather supports importing multiple certificates. Tap again on Add Certificate, and now, one by one, add the mobile provision file and the P12 file, which we extracted from that certificate zip file available in my Telegram channel. Next, enter the password, which is appleP12.com, type the password exactly the same way as displayed. Once the certificate is imported, just tap on the certificate once again so that this tick check mark appears right next to it. Now let's sign and sideload IPA files using Feather app. Tap on library and then tap on import option as shown. Now select the IPA you wish to sideload. I will sideload the INDS app. Now tap on the app and tap on sign. Here you can customize your app by changing its name. I will change it to my channel's name. You can even change its version, its app ID, add tweaks, remove dialibs, and many, many more. And under advanced section, you can enable even more advanced features. 
Once everything is set, just tap on Start Signing. Once the app is successfully signed, it will appear under the Sign App section. Finally, just tap on the app and tap on Install to start the sideloading process. Tap on the Install button when you get this pop-up. As you can see, the INDS app is sideloaded successfully with the custom name. Let me show you that the app is also working fine. Hope you like my video, please do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Now if you want to scan your IPA file for virus or malware before sideloading it, watch my next video.